Hey there, Eli coming at you again today in front of this planet tank that I've given you guys a few updates on so far. I just wanted to give another quick update, kind of show you guys how it's looking today. As you can see, it has filled in quite nicely. Everything has been running quite smoothly. Still a whole bunch of fish, and as much as you can't see them because this tank is so fully planted, there are quite a handful of fish still in this aquarium. Everything seems to be getting along quite well, growing in quite well, and the plants are doing spectacular. As you can see, some of these plants are already starting to breach the surface. It's been two or three weeks since I caught just about any of these plants, so they are definitely due for a trimming. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close-up today of some plant trimmings and kind of talk to you a little bit about trimming plants. So one of the important things to keep in mind once your planted aquarium does start to fill in is as much as it looks really nice once it starts to get nice and bushy and all of your plants start to crowd each other out, it is really important to thin those plants out pretty regularly on a CO2 injected aquarium. Usually you're able to trim a lot of your stem plants every week or every other week just because they do grow so fast especially if you've been keeping up with a good dosing regime and you have really high lighting, oftentimes you're really gonna be able to trim this aquarium really frequently. If you do not keep up with those frequent trimmings, a lot of times you will run the risk of shading some of your lower plants out or shading the bases and stems of those taller plants out, which just causes them to get a little bit rattier in appearance and might cause them to get a little bit frail and brittle over time. So it's definitely important to keep in mind those routine maintenance, that routine trimming of this aquarium is gonna be important in making sure you maintain a really healthy planted ecosystem down the road. But one of the best parts about those routine maintenance trims is that you are certainly able to do whatever you desire with those trimmings. If those plants are nice and healthy, a lot of times you can trade those trimmings with friends. And with just about every stem plant, you can cut them anywhere along the stem, cut them even really short into like a couple inch segments if you really desired, plant them back in and you can get those plants to fill back in pretty quickly. So for the sake of filling in some empty species, like every time I've trimmed this tank recently, I have taken those trimmings and planted them right back into the tank to kind of afford some extra space for a lot of these plants. And as you can see, they have filled in quite nicely. But if you don't have room for those plant trimmings, oftentimes trading with friends is a great way to kind of diversify the trimmings that you have in your aquarium and just a really easy way to get rid of those trimmings. In the case that they get too far, or perhaps some of those trimmings are not of the best condition, maybe they've got a little extra algae on the leaves or something that you don't want to throw in another aquarium, they do make really good compost. If you do garden, they are a great way to add some nitrogen and phosphorus back into your soil. So it'd be a great thing to throw right into a compost pile if that's something that you do at home. So without further ado, I am going to trim some of these plants back, give them a little bit more room to grow. And unfortunately, I don't have a ton of room to replant most of these trimmings. Perhaps I will with a couple, but for the most part, these are all going to get bundled up and thrown out in our tank for sale. So if that's something that you are looking forward to seeing, some of these plants might be available by the end of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me trim the tank back. I'm gonna go now and plant those in our tank for sale. So if you guys are looking for some fresh trimmings, there should be some new stuff just within a day or two. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Please let me know if you have comments, questions, maybe suggestions in the comment section below. Keep it fishy.